Incorporating volumetric fog into your scene adds a lot of depth and atmosphere. Without it, things can look very bland and flat. So I'm going to show you how I like to do my volumetric fog and how I make it look good. So start off with just adding in a cube. You want to go ahead and go over to Object Properties, Viewport Display, and then change the display as to wire so that we can see everything inside of the box. So now I'm just gonna start scaling it up and you wanna scale it around all of the stuff in your scene. Once everything is inside of the box, you can go to the shading tab. You're going to want to make a new material and delete the principled shader and add in a principled volume. Now on the density, change it to 0 0.04. The density will really depend on your lighting, but for this dark scene, I need to have a low density because there's not very much light. Now also on the principled volume, turn the anisotropy, hopefully I said that right, turn it up just a little bit. I like to put it around 0.65. Now we're done with the principled volume. Add in a mix shader and a volume scatter node. And now so that we have some variation in our volume, you want to add in a noise texture and plug the color into the density. If you have Node Wrangler enabled, you can click on the noise texture and hit Control T and it'll bring up a texture coordinate and mapping node so that it is correctly mapped onto the cube. To control the white and black values of the noise texture, we want to add in a color ramp in between the noise texture and the volume scatter. So now we can control how dense the fog really is. So I'm going to bring the black value over a little bit and then bring the white over a little bit and change it to around a gray. The scale on the noise texture should be okay. You can turn up the detail a little bit. I would recommend that you do so. Also on the volume scatter, you also want to turn the anisotropy up a little bit. I like to have it around 0.65, same as up here. And now you have created volumetric fog. If I rotate the sun, you can see that there are clear light rays and it just makes a really nice effect as if there's atmosphere. Anyways, I hope this helped you and thank you for watching.